we all try to be very interesting in the in the place where we go to and uh, we try to be the most interesting so that we can carry on all the conversations with the people but that does not always happen right so in fact it happens to me that when i go into any party or anything and people would turn around and say hey you know something tell us what is going to happen in the markets and it's such an embarrassing question because i really have nothing to talk about the markets i can only say what has happened in the past and nobody is interested in the history and if i talk about my own history i don't think anybody is interested in knowing what i did because they, their question is tell me what to buy today which will double tomorrow right that's the question so that i really don't have an answer so i do something else i turn around and say what do you think will happen to the market now in material of whether he is a guy from banking or whether he is from telecom it doesn't really matter he will have a view on the market he will have a view on biden on trump and uh, then you have uh, done something very smart you have diverted the question from you to the question on him and about him you will of course know so whether it is uh, or i turn it completely to say uh kaziranga is so beautiful or something like that and suddenly it goes to wild uh, wild cats in taduba or something like that so but what really works is when you take interest in the other person uh, genuinely if you want to help the person genuinely take interest in the other person and that is important even in uh, sales right even in sales if you can get the person to be uh, if you can really talk about that person's interest and how does that happen well you have to just uh, be curious about what that person does in his or her life it could be anything could be venture capital could be films could be doing youtube videos to make money any of those things just allow the other person to talk and then suddenly you will you will find uh, so answers to questions which are there in your mind you can direct the person to that so uh just ask uh, the client what do you think will happen with the economy what do you think will happen with the markets and then that's fine you will get answers uh, fa- fast and thick and uh, they will completely go away from handling you uh, handling your asking you a question about this whether it is a agreement whether it is disagreement there can't be any disagreement when you're talking about uh your own life right you, there is nothing for me to disagree if you say kaziranga is beautiful and i say yeah taduba is also beautiful and so gear is not so great something like that so right so it doesn't really matter and the question is how do you convey to them that uh, uh whatever they want to hear or whether they want to listen so the question is also sometimes when you are talking to people they may not really want to hear uh, the truth they may want to hear their own view and also the question is when you are in the business of advising you also tend to talk down on people and say what a mess you have made so let me tell you two instances one was uh, i was dra- traveling from uh, i think uh, navi mumbai to thane and i met a taxi driver and uh, he had uh, taken uh, three life insurance policies for his three children now typically uh, i could have said oh my god what a mess uh, why did you take these lic policies obviously lic policies endowment which were 20 years old and he had been paying uh, premium on that uh, religiously you know diligent payment of premium for the last 15 20 years or 25 years whatever he had been paying those premium and they had accumulated some value now typically i could have said uh, this is bad you shouldn't have done it etc but i realized that the place where he was living i am not mentioning that place uh, the chances are he would have put that money into some kind of a chit fund or some kind of a money lender who would have perhaps run away or some vc scheme or some guy some smart sub broker would have come and put money in equities imagine 20 years means you go back to 90 uh, 2000 okay or maybe 1995 so he could have put money in some scam he could have lost it and you know nothing like that he just went and put it in lic is it a great plan i think at his level as a taxi driver without not much knowledge about where to invest and cost of investing and return etc 
the most important thing is preservation of capital and i think preservation of capital definitely happened with lic because he will definitely get back much more than what he put and uh, maybe we'll get a 4% return maybe we'll get a 7% return i'm not getting into the specific things but safety of capital yes he had ensured that three sons three policies they were all maturing exactly at the time when he needed it he had the diligence to pay the premium regularly maybe it was 1500 or 500 or whatever but the diligence to pay the premium regularly for a taxi driver was not a mean achievement his eldest son was uh, doing had finished his mba he was looking for a job and uh, his previous job he was earning about 3 and 1/2 lakhs and now he was expecting to earn about 8 9 lakhs this was about 2 years ago i have obviously not followed up his second son had just completed engineering and he had taken up a job and his uh, third son was uh, still uh, in class 12 when he had taken commerce or things something like that so he had paid emphasis on the education of children children were brought up well they got educated they, i mean be plus uh, elder son was an mba second son was an engineer third was son was likely to become a commerce graduate and maybe do an mba or a ca and he had looked after his money right so that is important now take another case where uh, i met another girl uh, she was about 29 years of age about 3 years ago so which means uh, about uh, 30 31 today she used to stay in a slum and again i don't want to mention the name and she belonged to a real poor family her father was not earning well but he was not a drunkard or anything he was still uh, contributing to the house but very little D- didn't really matter how much he was contributing and she had her portfolio i uh, did something very smart i took her, i took her portfolio and showed it to my class and my class typically said oh too many schemes unnecessary why should you to do so many to do about 13000 12 13000 rupees of sip why does she need seven eight schemes and you know and uh, she had two three elss uh, in which she had done lump sum or she had done sip and stopped and uh, blah 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 typically you could rip the uh, rip the portfolio apart and then i told those uh, kids in my class you know what i did i sat with her and asked her a simple thing right uh, tell me how you started and uh, how you earned money and who told you about saving who told you about investing etc etc her friend used to work in a small company which used to go door to door collecting sip forms so she told her about sip and she completely trusted her she knew nothing about it and she started with 500 rupees which she was earning Uh, through giving tuitions this must have been way back uh, before she graduated and now she was of course a graduate and all that so she must have been 18 or 19 or maybe 20 when she started this right so 21 22 she graduated and so she had a 500 rupee sip she had a 1000 rupee sip she had a 1500 rupee sip and i don't think she had more than 2500 sip but yes 10 11 sips uh, or 7 7 8 uh, sips and aggregating about uh, 12 13000 and that's it so i sat with her and i said uh, so i was introduced as an expert and she knew because she had seen me with her uh, boss she had seen me on tv so she was thrilled that somebody like me would even look at her portfolio so i looked at her portfolio and i said uh, did you start a 500 rupee sip because that is what you could afford she said yes and then it became a 1500 rupee sip then she started a 2500 rupee sip yes no application of thought but still her friend had told her so she had a large cap she had a mid cap she had a Uh, ELSS and so largely she had not done too badly i mean she had definitely outperformed the uh, index or any of her expectation now coming to think of it a girl from this kind of a background had at least started and uh, so i said this is a great thing now we can rationalize a bit but nothing needs to be changed if it was a more educated person and uh, done something like this i would have said array this is wrong this is wrong but the question is when you are at that level encouraging them to be investing is far more important than passing a value judgment on how she should have done it this is like telling a very poor man who has just got an aloo paratha to eat to say oh this has got starch this doesn't have enough protein he is going to say go take a walk i am hungry i am going to eat it right thank you 
so approaching clients like that is far more important uh thank you